Thank you, Simon. You all find me here in Chicago with this small, diminutive, unassuming little device, Mosier 2 Pro. Now, it might look small, but it is a powerful device with the ability to measure, draw, and map out this whole space. Let me show you. So I'll turn it on for you. Three o'clock, nine o'clock, just turn it like that. Gonna go to my app, press the plus symbol at the bottom close shape at the top because I want the total area and the total perimeter and more lights red it's going to go green and when that oh well all cylinders are firing straight away and off we go and when I place Mosier when I go at Mosier I'm traveling not at the speed of like walking little Miss Daisy nor am I walking at like running back speeds or anything like that but maybe somewhere in between and also notice as well when I place Mosier down right into the corner here I place it down nice and gently i don't slam it into the ground because it is an electronic device after all and you see as a result that it is measuring and drawing out this whole space as i just walk along all the different changes of directions all the angles are being captured here as well as that i am aware that you know you guys often ask well lots of questions and i'll try and answer them as i go along one being well how the blazes is, is it doing this because as easy as you're looking at me right now, I am walking and it is measuring and drawing at the same time. Mosier here is doing all of the heavy lifting without the need for GPS. That's because it uses motion-based measuring technology. So when it's in motion, it measures. And when I place it down, I, when it's motionless, it captures the point. You can see that the consequence of that right now. Another one is, like so, this is Mosier 2 Pro, the latest iteration of the Mosier family. So what's in it that makes it so much better than Mosier 1? Well, let's see if I can remember. It's an X2 Pro inertial sensor engine, which raises the bar as to what Mosier can do. That means that it is has got a measuring processing capacity that, that's up to six times greater than Mosier 2. Actually, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute, because I want to show you this. I've been measuring in straight lines so far, but now the path type changes to more of an arc. We have a path type just for that. I'm going to select arc there. Three points is what I need. I've got one. This is the second one. Straight line at the moment. Let's do one more. And you see that we're going to have a beautiful well-defined arc let's finish it off up here now go back into the corner and I'm not going to stop it at the moment I'm going to go into points because what I want to do is I've got the total I'll get the total area in the perimeter just from this but now I want to capture the surface area the volume or do a 3d terrain map of this space so I'm just going to, look at this, I'm just wandering around. I'm placing Mosier down anywhere I see an elevation change. Now there isn't much of an elevation change here. It's more up there. So I'm going to make my way up there, place it down. Because every six to eight seconds you place Mosier down and it captures the point. I personally like to place it down when it's, in the, when it's in the green before it goes into the amber. I find that I get a far more accurate result when I do it that way. Place it down again. Just to go back to what I was saying about um, the X2 Pro inertial sensor engine, you know, that's paired with the gyroscopes and the accelerometers and all the other gizmos that's whirring around inside of here, along with the latest algorithm uh, that Mosier has, which means that it's more precise, it's more accurate, and it's measuring with an accuracy or a margin of plus or minus 0.3%, which makes it 99.7% accurate. Now, precision for you is non-negotiable. That's going to be music to your ears. Let's go back down here. Just capture this. Notice as well is that is just gliding over this surface and it doesn't matter if the surface is smooth. It doesn't matter if the surface is like rough or really rough terrain. I've used this device in, in claggy clay. I've used it on rock. I've used it in the snow. I know other Customers have used it in all sorts of temperatures and it doesn't miss a beat. You never lose your stride with Mosier. It does all of the heavy lifting. 
and it just glides over the surface. It's such a relief that it's not cap, cap getting stuck or catching itself in the mud or in the wet grass and, uh, and not measuring. I just glide over the surface and it measures everything out. Every little subtle rise and fall of this ground is being captured here with effortless ease. I just walk around this obstacle, place it down over here and we're on the home straight now, we're on the home run. Let's make my way back to where I began, which was over here. And when, when I get to the end, I press stop and you can see, all I've done is walk around and I've got the total area, I've got the total perimeter. You can see it on there and on the screen rather. And you can be forgiven for thinking that this is just measured in 2D. I've got all the measurements, all the linear d measurements, the arc measurements as well. But check this out. If I go to this icon and press 3D, look at this. It's a whole new world. I'm just going to pan around. Can you guys see the elevations that are on there? I can zoom in a little bit more for you. And in fact, also, I'll tell you what, I'll select these points. Can you see when I select a point, you get the X and the Y and the Z coordinates on there. And if I move along, can you see how the Z coordinates begin to rise or fall? That refers to the elevation. And also, I have another icon on here called the cross section, a contextual little menu right there at the touch of my fingertips. So and choose right there if I want to. I'll select that. Um, let me, sorry, I'll select the cross section select another point and we get the length, the rise and the run. So as I'm walking along, it's measuring in three dimensions, the length and the rise and the run between any two points, by the way. And if I want a little bit more detail, I'll select cross section in the bottom left and we get the angle, we get the gradient, all of the information, all the detail is on there. Now, that's a lot to take in. If I go to this icon, there's even more, we get the surface area of all of this space, this green patch that I've just measured. I'll pan around. The red refers to the, the high points and the blue refers to the lowest points. And if I wanted to, let's say, like I've got the volume in the surface area, but let's say I go to edit, select cut and fill. Can you see when I move this slider left or right, my numbers for the cut, fill, net and level, they change. Look what happens when I select cut and I zero that out and my fill is at 3833. That means if I wanted to bring material up to its highest point to level it all out, that's what the volume would be. Maybe I select fill and that goes to zero and I wanted to cut everything down from the top right down to my lowest point, my data point, my zero, zero, zero. And it's telling me I need to cut out 1843.05 cubic foot. I can change this by the way to cubic yards. That's just really easy to do. There's so much more that you could do. If, let's say it by the way that I didn't want to take any material in or out and I wanted to level it all. I select net, zero that and it's telling me to move the red section which is the cut 682, excavate that and move it into the blue section and that'll all be leveled out. As well as that, let's say I want to put mulch on there. I go to add depth and I can move the slider left to right again. We want to give them some mulch, select the pen icon and I'll be really generous because I'm a nice kind of guy. Let's give them four inches of mulch and the volume calculation is on there 828.40 just like that now doing numbers for me you could pull, pull barbed wires from my brain and i'll feel a whole lot happier so this is a game changer for me another icon we've got the contours on there as well just at a glance i get a representation of the lie of the land and i can see every subtle rise and fall off it so when the heavens open i can see what way the water is going to weave its way all the way down but listen, this is not the half of it because we look around. We've got a whole park here, a whole urban landscape of different shapes and spaces. And wouldn't it be great, by the way, to measure them all and for them all to be dovetailed and orientated and positioned correctly relative to each other? Well, guess what? With Mosier, there's a way to do that. So before I go and do that, I'm just going to save this file and I'm going to save it into my Chicago folder and press continue. And then I'm going to label this green lawn area. Sorry for my typing, I'm not the fastest, just save that. Now, to layer all the other shapes in, I'm going to add layer bottom right hand corner, 
add layer and then place it down here and I need to capture two points along the first edge. This is the first one and that's why I made my first edge really long. So I'm going to go and capture a second point along there, place it down here. Remember always place it down nice and gently like it's a you know a, a very precious single malt Irish whiskey that you don't want to spill a drop off and I'm making my way to the corner. Can you see by the way that nothing has been drawn out at the moment? That's because it's an ignore line and that's the way I want it. That's just how I like it. I want nothing drawn out until I get to the space I want to um, measure. And uh, I mean, you can probably hear the police behind me probably coming after me because they believe that this is so good, it's almost a crime, but it really is this good. Um, so I've got straight line now and I'm gonna just measure along here and I see immediately that the path before me changes into a more regular complex shape and I'll go to trace to do that which is a different path type and look I'm going to walk along here and basically every curve of every bend of every step that I've just measured there has been traced and mapped out with the numbers can you guys imagine trying to measure that with strings and do it splitting it up into grids and then measuring that all out. This is so accurate. Let me see, we're back into, I'll do a little bit more of a trace. There's no eyeball in it here. There's no rough estimations. There's no guesswork. This is precise measuring with Mosier, straight into the corner, place it down nice and gently again, make my way over here. This is like, I'm talking to you guys as I'm measuring. I, I, I'm just like from farmer land in Ireland. I didn't grow up with technology, yet I find this so intuitive, so easy to use. So much so that, you know, okay, second nature might be talking for me, but it is so easy just to use while I'm distracted, multitasking, talking to you all. Place it down here and go over here. And again, I'm traveling with speed. Let's go back into straight line. And before I can even blink, before I can even think, before I know what I'm doing, Mosier here is just doing all the heavy lifting, measuring all of this space out. And you can see how this space now, I'll press stop, it's done. This shape here, which has got straight lines, because that's the world we live in, that's an accurate, that, that's a job site, right? It isn't all straight lines, you've got swerves and curves. Mosier handles it all. And now I've got the total area and I've got the total perimeter of this space with all the individual measurements in between as well. And here I am, outdoors, in this anti-Irish weather. Okay, it's the beautiful sun with Mosier, and I can send this straight off to a client right now. If you look on the screen, I'm gonna, well, actually, I'll save it first. Save that. Now I'm gonna go to File. Can you see Exports on there? And I've got, like, I could send this PDF to a client right now. Um, I could, like, I can configure it. I can customize it to look whatever way that I want to. I can change the scale. I can have it scale to fit for more of a seamless fit or maybe one-to-one. -one. Dial it down to one-to-one -one or all the way up to one to 500 for maybe those grand sweeping designs like we have here. Um, I can export it in landscape or portrait that's also on there. Um, maybe I want to print it, by the way. And I can print it in letter or legal or tabloid or large poster. Now, all the engineering sizes, ANSI C to E are on there as well. Let's come out of there. I'll show you a preview of what that might look like. Um, I'll just scroll through and you can see your logo can be in the top right hand corner. You've got all your different uh, views on there, your surface views, your total areas and what have you. So that's, that's just PDF and we also have export to CAD for your favorite CAD uh, software in DWG or DXF. Um, you can have a surface 3D or contour map 3D selection on there as well. You can export that or your CSV points for manipulating them in post also. Um, we've got uh, PNG and JPEGs also as well. There's so much more and I know it's like overload and I could tell you so much more and I'm only scratching the surface but I thought as well um, I might show you something else. Um, Mosier 2 Pro has some features that are exclusive to it. Um, one is layout. You can punch in some coordinates on here or download a pre-made file in CSV with predefined coordinates into Mosier, it'll import it in, and look, check it out. I'll just do it rather than talking about it. Um, I'm gonna line myself up here, press the plus symbol, go to layout, let's pick up these markers. 
I've got a pre-made layout already. It'll give me a preview. So now I can see what the points are. And what it's going to do, it's going to guide me, take me by the hand to all of those predefined points. First of all, I'm just going to align my phone with my AB, my reference line. That's done just like that. Wait for that light to go from red to green, which as we know by now is pretty much instantaneous. Off I go over here, place it down, nice and steady, nice and easy. And straight away it's telling me that I need to travel about 15 foot back in this direction. So Mosier is guiding me. I don't have to think. I just have to follow these arrows. And I'm a foot off. Okay, well, it guides me which way to go makes, to make little adjustments. I'm 9.5 inches off, so inch by inch it measures, it, it guides me until I hit the target. Let's see if I can get it this time. There we go. And when I get the target, it tells me which direction to go in next. I'm just going to place the marker down and travel over here six foot like it's directing me to do. Nice and easy. This is great. Like 2.5 inches off, I'm nearly in. I don't have any thinking. All I have to make sure of is that I don't trip over myself. Let's come back here. About six foot, about there. Let's see if I've got it straight off. Oh, I'm at 1.1 foot off. Not got my eye in just yet. 4.5 inches and again and then I'll pop over here place it down so you can lay out stake out set out with ease using Mosier now and this is an exclusive feature to Mosier 2 Pro and it's able to do that with a powerful X2 Pro inertial sensor that's fizzing away inside of there Two point five inches off. This anti-Irish weather, the sun, is obviously affecting me. Okay, I've got it now. It's going to come back out. And it's going to tell me to return to the start, which is about here. Place it down, and so quickly. Press stop. We've got it. You can see it's laid out in next to no time at all. Mosier here is just taking me by the hand, guiding me around to all these predefined points. I've just followed the, the arrows and put my marker down and Mosier has helped me lay out, set out, stake out this whole section. Now, there's a lot of information that I've told you about total areas, perimeters, 3D surface calculations, layout. There's so much more features with Mosier 2 Pro, like for practical reasons. Let's talk about practicalities. It's now got USB-C charging. The battery life is now twice as long. It used to be five, now it's ten. So you can, you can measure to your heart's content from dawn till dusk. We have another feature on here as well. It's called dynamic intervals. I told you already that you place Mosier down every six to eight seconds. Now you've got the option to increase the pauses between points. So I've selected the cog in the top right hand corner, come into measuring options, measuring time if you can see that. It's currently selected on the highest accuracy. Let's go to longest time. Okay, place that down, press continue. Let's go back in, press the plus symbol, and this time I'm going to go to open shape. Wait for that light to go from red to green, which it's done, and then off we go. I'm just going to keep going and going and going. Dynamic intervals gives you more flexibility to adjust your pauses between points. And I'm still going, and I know I can talk a lot. Oh, actually, I'll, just play, I'll go a bit further, place it down nice and easy. I've probably gone about 90 plus feet. 94, got my glasses on, I think that's 94.6 feet, press stop. So a very useful feature if you've got like a large massive scale project um, on there. And that's all using just this small little device. It just fits in the palm of my hand. Mosier, it allows me to measure smarter, quicker and better, making my life so much more easier. Mosier 2 Pro.